Hey what's going on guys, as you can see I've been uploading mobile gameplay and streaming mobile gameplay. But how do I do that though? Using the Duon app. It is absolutely game changing and you gotta check it out for yourself. Even though it uses mirroring technology, there's absolutely no delay or lag. So it's really the go to choice for people who don't want to go out and buy a capture card just for their mobile gaming. And if this video ends up being any help to you, help me out by subscribing and liking the video. I really appreciate it and it takes the channel to another level. Let's get into it. So you're going to want to come to this website called Duon. The link will be in the description. From here, you could just download the version that best suits you. If you're a Windows user, you would download this, which is what I'm using, PC. Um, if you are Mac, then you would download this. But the, the installation process is very simple. You click it and it'll go through. Now I already have the app installed on my PC, but I assure you the installation process is extremely easy. And then once you're done with that, you're going to come over here. You're going to find the Duon application right here. It'll ask you to start. So I start it and I usually run it as admin. It works best that way. Then boom, you got it right here. You're going to want to make an account because if you don't make an account with this program, you'll still be able to use it. But the problem is that it'll only ever mirror your, your screen for about uh, 30 seconds or 60 seconds or something like that. Then it'll cut off and you have to restart it every single time. So you're going to want to make an account. Having an account is just going to cost you $6.99 for six months or $10 for the whole year. I do recommend just getting the $10 for the whole year. Um, this is a really, really, really sturdy application. And it bypasses a lot of the other stuff where people would have to go out and get capture cards for their phones. And honestly, do a lot of things because typically getting your phone screen onto your OBS or onto your computer screen is a very difficult, long-winded, and very convoluted process that still has not gotten very streamlined yet. This one app Duon makes it all very possible for $10 a year. And as it is right now, I can't be mad at that pricing. So I do still recommend it. And to my knowledge, it's the only app that allows you to mirror your phone screen to your PC or Mac wired or wirelessly. So that's a pretty big bonus for those who don't have great Wi-Fi connections. And at just $10, it is definitely one of the more cheaper alternatives out there. So you get a lot at a low price. Okay, great. Now that your account is made, or even if it isn't made, you could still try this out. Though remember, it'll only last for about 30 to 60 seconds because it'll be like a trial. But once your account is made, right, Make sure that your phone and your and the computer that you're using are on the same Wi-Fi network. And what you're going to do is come here with your iPhone. In the top right corner, you're going to swipe down. And then right next to the iPhone lock screen, you guys know this, there will be a screen mirroring app, okay? And if you don't have that, you could go to settings and set that up. But there'll be a screen mirroring thing by default. Then what happens is you're going to click on Duon Desktop, right? And you're about to see it right now. It's going to connect. And then you're going to see it pop up on the computer it might take a little bit but it's going to pop up boom and then there you see right there let me move that over for a second right there so as you can see it's mirroring and you're getting the same exact stuff right you can swipe left same and extremely responsive too then you can even play a game and as you can see it fixes itself you don't even need to spin your phone yourself the aspect ratio will do its job so um it'll go what it had it'll it'll go to the size and the shape and the direction that it needs to go to, right? But that's the wireless option. Now, you can also try the wired. So we're going to X this out really quickly. Let's bring this over here again. And what you're going to do, right, is that you're just going to have your USB cable or USB-C cable. I mean, you know, you, you know your, your iPhone charging cable, right? You're going to put this into the iPhone. And you're going to have the same effect. The first time you're going to want to click trust your computer, but that's normal with any iPhone. And then once you've done that, it'll work very smoothly. Same exact experience. If we click on the app yet again, you'll have the same exact results. Now I'm going to teach you how you would put this into OBS. Okay, so what you're going to do here, right, is that you're first going to click add. Okay, we can name this scene COD Mobile. Then click OK. So here in COD Mobile, what you're going to do is you're going to right click here and click add video capture device. OK, now with video capture device, you can name it do one if you would like. Or you can leave it alone. It's no big deal. You want to click OK. Now from this drop down, you're going to see do one virtual camera. OK, click do one virtual camera. Right now, let me put this. Let me put the webcam and display capture above. Hold on. So boom, right now we have Duon and that, and it's going to be blank at first, right? So let me just switch back to the display capture for a second. And what you're going to do, you're going to come here and you're simply going to turn this capture button on. Turn this on, okay? And you're going to click Duon virtual camera. 
Now you could have clicked any one of these if in OBS you had it set as the other ones. But for right now, this is going to be Duon Virtual Camera, okay? Now, we go back. I'm going to put the Duon back on top. And boom, as you can see, we have it up and running. Okay, now what I'm going to do in order for you guys to see is that I'm actually going to shrink the size of the screen here. So, as you can see, I just took the corner and then I shrunk it. You could also put it back where it was and then you could kind of stretch it out again so that it's at 1080p. But... What I'm shrinking down so that you can see is that what I want you to do, because some of you are going to need to do this, you need to go into where you have do on, go to properties, right? And make sure that you have, and make sure that when you configure the video, right? You have it, uh, you know, the resolution at 1080p. You understand? Whoops. 1920 by, oh, it has that 888, but you want it at, 1080p you understand so then boom match output you could you could do highest fps and then you'd be very very good you see so then now you're okay and then now you could put this back but hold on but before we do that actually right what you also want to do is actually head over i'm going to just take this off for a second you want to also head over to do one and in the settings whoops in the settings over here you also want to make sure that your device, um, which would be your iOS device, is the resolution is at, you know, screen size best, which would be 10, 1920 by 1080p, right? Screen size best. And the resolution is 1920 by 1080p, okay? Now, you could do just like that. That'd be fine. 6060, and you would be very good to go. Then you would click save. And now we're just going to have this back. We're going to make that seeable again. Put that at 1080p. And now we're looking very good. Okay, so right now you do hear the audio coming from the game, but you hear it coming from the external speakers, right? What you really want is for the audio to end up in the actual recording. So what you want to do is match OBS's, you see, desktop audio, or you can have it as Duon, but what you want is for the audio output. In fact, for some of you, you may, have to need, you may even need to make a whole audio output capture, right? But we, so let's put audio output capture 3, COD Mobile. Uh, audio right so and then what you're going to want to do is have it set to wherever the audio is coming from so right now my audio is coming from the LG speakers what is it the LG Ultra Gear right it's coming from there and as you can see it's picking that up now I can actually turn down my actual speakers so that you could only hear my voice on the mic yet you're still hearing the COD mobile audio, right? But if you want to hear it for yourself, right? Wouldn't you want to put it maybe on your headphones or stuff like that? So then instead what you would do is that you would come here, you would change the properties and have it set to whatever headphone set that you have. So mine right here is speakers, Razer Audio Control Game. I would set it to that, all right? Now here's some of the, here's the one tricky part. You're going to also need to set the output of your computer to that same space. So the LG Ultra Gear, I mean, so the speaker is Razer Audio Controller Game. Now, the last part, and this is, to, so this is what you have to know for some of you guys, uh, and this is for me, you have to restart the Duon. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to X this out. We're going to restart the Duon. It's the same. And as you can see, the audio went back to my actual phone. So we're just going to restart the Duon. We're going to do the same thing that we did last time. And remember, we're doing this wirelessly. You could have done it wired. It's no big deal. Um, you, there, there's Again, there's no latency. There's no delay. So neither one is really faster than the other. But I know some of you guys are wired heads till you die. Um, so you could have done it wired. It's no big deal. So now, as you can see, with, all the, with the new audio settings, I can hear it in my headset. And I, you guys can hear it in the actual recording. So everything that's going on is looking good. And then again, you could put the... Um, you could put the do on over everything. Whoops. Oh, remember, you'd have to start your capture if you want to, you know, record what's going on. And now we're back here. And then boom, bap, skilly, bap. We have our whole stream set up. And again, if you wanted to, you could just click start streaming and boom, what you have would be going right to Twitch or YouTube streaming or Facebook gaming or wherever that you would like to stream and you'd be good. So thanks for watching the video. Remember to like and subscribe. I appreciate it. It takes us to another level. Have a great day. Peace, man.